And we welcome those that are now tuning in after Oklahoma State's 6-2 victory against Kentucky moments ago here in Norman, Oklahoma. And a surprise start as Oregon has struck first in the strength of the 16th home run of the season by Ariel Carlson moments ago. Calp strikes out, two outs. And the payoff. Slow roller over to short. Jennings up with it quickly to retire the side. Case in point. Through the tournament and through this regional. First strikeout for Morgan Scott. So expect to see some more off speed. All right, Jennings. Fair ball down the left field line. Coleman will be stopped at third by head coach, the Hall of Famer, Patty Gasso. Here come the Sooners. Can I get him to chase? 3-2 again, served to left field, and caught! Luchard got there. And the throw to home plate is late. We are tied at one. Full extension, no problem for Kyle Luchard in left field. That was a heck of a catch from Kyle Luchard. This gets past her. This is two runs scored. She gets a glove on it and a great throw home, although it's too late to get up and make that on-target throw. Just an outstanding play. Certainly can feel that here at Love's Field. Down the right field line. That loops down and in. Oklahoma grabs a 2-1 lead here in the first. Brito against her former team. And this pitch on the outside corner, Brito. An outstanding job just seeing this pitch, let it come in a little bit longer and driving it to the outside. Opposite side of the field allows Tiara Jennings to score. First team all Big 12, Alyssa Brito after one year in Eugene in 2021. This one nubbed over to second in an easy play. It's a team that uses the base path. They steal a lot. Inside in that clip, Daniel. Slow roller to third, and there's Brito. Retire the side. And we mentioned the relationship, Patty Gasso, Missy Lombardi, longtime friends. 21 years on the OU staff for Coach Lombardi. Her first return trip this weekend here at the Norman Regional. Dare I say almost a failed season? Boone up the middle and snakes through. Riley Boone, another hit. That'll turn the order over. Go back to the top and Jada Coleman. Coleman bunts it to third. Bird up with it quickly and in time. The Oklahoma State ace at that point in time. This one sent to right field. Pickering. And a one, two, three frame. Jennings in the on-deck circle, the 3-2 again. Fly ball, deep left field. And the ballpark's going to hold it barely as Luchar retreats. Cut on and miss, and the strikeout for Scott. That'll be her second. For each person, sometimes it's just about mental maturity. 2-2, deep right field, drifting back at the wall, and the catch made by Pickering. He puts Bedlam in the rearview mirror a little bit more. Flannery offers in the third strikeout in the books for Kelly Maxwell. It's one way to frame it. 2-2, <laughs> two, two, lined into center field, right past Sinicki. And with one away, Kinsey Hansen now standing at first. Tapped over to third. Force out, not there at second. They do get the out at first. Indicating the replay was coming. We'll have a look. I think on that look, it looked, you see, you got to look for the squeeze of the glove. Call on the field was safe. Take a look at the foot of Hansen. You got to look. As she put the squeeze on, that would be oh. my only hesitation. Right there from that angle, you can see from that point. After review, the ruling on the field is upheld. The runner is safe. Three balls and a strike. All of a sudden, an important moment in this one. One run game. Upstairs for ball four. Polsky with other ideas. Served to short, Paige Sinicki. And that's what the Defensive Player of the Year looks like in the Pac-12 in 2024. Paige Sinicki all out all the time, just like this. Here in the Norman Regional, winner of this game advances to the Regional Final tomorrow. Moments ago, Paige Sinicki, wow. How big was this? This is a save in the biggest way to me. This is the biggest moment of the game so far really find something to build on. 
Ducks with just one hit in this game, a solo shot by Ariel Carlson. Ducks, the only hit they've gotten has been Carlson's home run. Another strikeout here. I think that's really the difference we've seen here as these innings have gone on is the increase in the off speed. Maxwell strikes out the side. That can really break it up enough to get those outs. Tap back, Sikolsky fields it cleanly over to first and not in time. To a lefty. Runner goes, the throw down to second in time. Roman's hand looked like it got in maybe a little bit. Parker rounds it over to first. Nobody covering. Flannery tried to get there in a hurry. It was fielded by Daniel. Off that bat, no doubt about that home run. Hammered, deep left field. Jennings does it again. There's just something about Tiara Jennings. Finds a way to get it done. A pitch in the upper part of the zone, sees it and sends it. This is in the upper deck of the stadium, stands in the left field. She sees it and sends it. Two run home run here. Pickering aboard. Smacked over to Sinicki at short, unable to get the force at second. Everybody safe. Fly ball right field. Ballpark's going to hold it. Now Wong has it. Lead runner will tag. Name on the bill. Spencer's bill. Fly ball right field. Wong retreats on the run and makes the grab. Ducks in rally mode. In her half knee high and dropped across beautifully for the strikeout for Maxwell. Jumping up in the zone. Carlson, fly ball right center, playable. Coleman gives way to Core. Looking to settle down a little bit more here, attacking the zone. Coleman slaps it to left field. Inning continues. Hitting 4 11. 3 2. Crushed! Right center field and gone. Every at bat has gotten better for Ella Parker this game. She saw this pitch, she connected, beautiful extension. She got her barrel on the ball and sent it out of the park. The fan that caught that ball, the happiest one in the park right now. Puts two more on the board. Columbia Regional, a couple of wins already. This one, two hops to Bird at third. Kalf gives this one a ride. Down the right field, line and gone. Here come the Ducks. Fourth of the season for Emma Kalf. And the second hit against the Sooners today for Oregon. He had been throwing outside. She brings this one further in, and Kalf just takes it for a ride. On the inside part of the plate, she turns on it, sends it to the right side of the field. Here's Val Wong, swipes it this one down the left field line. Wong digs for seconds. Well, how big was that homer by Ella Parker moments ago? Up the middle and another base hit. Runner will be waved home. Leg will score to make it six to three. Flannery, the RBI single. Daniel strikes out. A lot more space. 100th pitch of the game for Maxwell. Right back to the circle. Could be two. That'll do it. But a good play here. This ball was hit hard back to Maxwell. She makes a good play there and a good play there. It's a close play at first base. I do you think that is an out? After review, the ruling is upheld. The runner is out. That's the ball game. Okay. Six to three, our final score.
Thank you.